I remember one time I watched an interview with Donald Trump when he was younger, a lot younger, and I remember he was just casually trying to understand why women who are older or not beautiful would even want to be alive. It's like, what, what purpose would they serve? He was basically saying that women were put on this earth to decorate it, you know, make it beautiful. And women who were older or, or ugly had no meaning, no reason to be here, no reason to exist. And then I see this clip. To me, this is an incredibly ominous thing coming out of Donald Trump's mouth. If you hear that in the background, that's my Dungeons of Eternity. It's on my headset. You can hear the dragon screaming. I think he's hinting about something called, uh, I don't think I could say it. Uh, let's just say the eradication, the eradication of human beings in this country who are not desirables. Women who should not be here. She shouldn't be here, but she's a nice woman. How else would you take that? And she has beautiful children. He's, he's justifying the reason why she, should, she still gets to be alive. She's nice and she has beautiful children. What if she's not nice and she has ugly children? Then is she not going to get to be here anymore? I don't think I've ever been more terrified by Donald Trump and Project 2025 than I am right now because I'm an atheist. I don't have children. I'm not beautiful and I'm old. I serve no purpose, so I shouldn't be here according to Donald Trump. And neither should a lot of Trump supporters who follow him. Look in the mirror. Do you think you would qualify as somebody that's decorating the planet? Probably not. I've seen a lot of Trump supporters. Most of them are, you know, like me, ordinary women who would never be able to walk onto the stage of a beauty pageant because beautiful women, you know, they're, they're kind of like the, min the minority. Most women are kind of average to plain. And those are the women that Trump doesn't understand why we even bother to exist. Perhaps we take a woman with two children, three children. She shouldn't be here, but she's a nice woman. The children are beautiful. And all of a sudden it ends up being a front page story of the liberal newspapers. And you're right. It's, some, it's a hard thing to do. Harder than a long time ago with Dwight Eisenhower, right? A lot harder. Nobody complained. In those days, it was, you know, we had a country that was much different. Uh, yeah. Something else that I remember reading in one of the many things that I've read about the uh, Project 2025, not everything that they are planning to do is in the 900-page book. There are things that they have left out that they do not want Democrats to know about so that the Democrats have no way to prepare for it and try to fight it. Eradicating a bunch of people that they don't think belong anymore could be one of those things. I am so incredibly terrified right now, and I think I have just cause.